the title is a lie. I actually did 210 squats instead. So with me, I will, I'm going to say only doing squats. Um, it was just kind of like a time conservation thing. Uh, this These past couple of days, I've just really been focusing in on like work and then, or well, schoolwork specifically. And I've had like some like personal stuff come up. So it's just kind of like I, I need to make sure I can allocate the proper time to those things. So by me doing this short workout, uh, it allows for me to be able to, you know, be able to just give the proper time to those things like I was trying to explain earlier. And this really only took me uh, 10 minutes. Um, I mean, in terms of me being down there, uh, this video is about nine minutes, nine minutes, 12 seconds. Uh, and that's how long it took me to do all the squats. But in terms of like setting everything up, coming down here, blah, blah, blah. I have music playing. So like just, you know, 10 minutes, give or take um, of this thing in total. And you might think, well, 200 squats, like, you know, how is that short? How can that be just a short workout? Well, when you work up to it, it's definitely like short, you know, not easy. It's not easy. But it definitely doesn't take that long. You know, uh, it, it's a lot more mental, mental willpower, if anything. At first, I was thinking like uh, when I was on my way home, I was thinking like, well, I think I'm just going to do 100 squats. And I'm like, well, that's like not that much. That's like too little. It's only going to take me three, four minutes or something like that. So I'm like, OK, 150. And I was kind of floating in between. Maybe I'll do 150 or 200. I'll have to see. So I came down here. I uh, got some music playing, uh, I started doing squats, and then I got to 150, and then I just said, okay, 50 more. And then I kept going, and then I just did 10 more, because um, those like last 20 that I was doing felt like way too easy, so I just kept pushing until I felt like it was enough. And 210, you know, it, it's not like this is something um, I've never done before, this is a new achievement or something like that. I've done 300 squats and like, you know, in one giant set before I've done 30 down squats and like multiple times with like, um, like my dad or a friend of mine or some friends. So this isn't something that's like a new challenge or whatever, but it definitely, it definitely leaves your legs toasted, like your entire lower body toasted. Like when I mean the entire lower body, I mean everything. I mean like my quads, my glutes, my hamstrings a little bit, and even my calves, my calves, bro my calves were even getting work, right? So when you're getting down in that squat position, your knees are pushing forward like over your ankles uh, or over your toes. Um, what's happening is like your calves are getting stretched out a little bit. And uh, if you kind of look at like muscle charts or whatever to see like the muscle activation with certain movements, if you see like a barbell squat, it's gonna say that like, you know, your calves are also kind of getting engaged there. Um, but when you go for like, you know, 200 plus reps and uh, just the body weight movement of a squat, you're going to feel every single muscle that's like, you know, that barely makes an impact. When I do uh, weighted squats or when I do barbell squats, I don't feel my calves ever. I barely ever feel my calves. I might feel like the, my shin ankle, uh, you know, trying to stretch itself out and everything and trying to stabilize itself. But it's like in terms of everything else, like I don't feel like my calves usually. But this time, this time was different. Doing 200 plus reps, like I really feel my calves. Even when I just do like 100, just 100, you know, I really feel my calves. So here you can see me like really, really like just breathing, trying to focus in and everything. Because, um, bro, again, this was like... Like, it was fun. It was fun. I mean, it was hard, but that's why it was fun, because it was hard. Because it's like, you know what, I want to do 200. Or, you know what, no, bump that. I want to do 210. So it was just very interesting just to kind of, like, challenge yourself. This is, I feel like this is more of a mental thing, you know. there There's no one telling me not to upload um, an adequate video or whatever, right? There's no one saying, like, dude, what the heck? This video was too short. Like, I could have done 100 reps. And then let the video be three minutes long and that was it, you know. But considering the channel and everything like that, I'm just like, whoa, let me let me do something a little bit. Um, you know, let me do 200 squats, right? Like, sure, that's not 
much, you know, d- well, depending on how you look at it, it's not much in terms of um, how like video length, you know, it's it only took about 10 minutes. Um, you know, it's not much in terms of exercise variety, but I chose the body weight squat specifically uh, because it was going to get me the most bang for my buck with this shorter session. Uh, you know, just the, the body weight squat, it, it does so much for the entire body that it's like, you know, all, all, all of the other movements become irrelevant when you just really focus in on it. And don't treat the, don't think that like this was ineffective too. like this, like I can't even walk right now. Like I'm sitting down right now. I swear if I were to get up, I'd probably like stumble over or something like that. When I finished and I got up to go back upstairs, like I could barely go up the stairs. When I was trying to like, str- uh, when I got on the ground to like stretch out my like my hips and my quads after this, like I swear, like just the the amount of like pain and tension and just blood in every single area, like and when I tried to get back off the ground, I I I couldn't, bro. Like I barely could. I had to stay. I had to I had to be kneeled down for like a good minute or so. So definitely, definitely, if you're gonna do something like this, definitely make sure you drink a bunch of water you see I have like my gallon there you don't want to like wake up in the middle of the night and just like have a bunch of cramps that's one mistake uh to not make you don't want to be you know working out all the time doing these high rep or type types of workout having like a bunch of blood flowing everywhere and then you're not replenishing your system with like proper foods and hydrate just being hydrated um with you know I've experienced it before like if you ever get something like a like a Charlie horse cramp or, um, you know, maybe you get like a cramp in one of your lats or something like that. It's because you're not hydrated enough, right? I mean, it's because for one, that muscle is very weak and two, you're not hydrated enough. You know, you need to probably eat more fruit, um, you know, trying to get like more greens in your, in your system. And of course, just drink a bunch of water. Like if there's one thing you should do, drink a bunch of water, especially if you're going to be like working out crazy, like how I do like you know, every day. So, um, the recovery, recovery is very, just very important for this type of stuff. Uh, you can see here, I'm like screaming in agony and pain. Uh, again, like, you know, I might look very tortured, but this was very fun. This was just a nice, a nice thing for me to do. You know, um, it, it, it was just cool. You know, it just, it just makes me really appreciate just, like, the fact that, like, again, like, bro, I've said this so many times, like, I'm getting, like, so much done from nothing, bro. Like, this workout required zero equipment, bro. The ground, unless you want to count the ground, but the ground is freaking everywhere. So, unless you have to pay for every step you take on whatever ground, like, this required zero equipment and... It was so it was so effective. Like it had me gasping for air. It felt like a cardio exercise while I was also feeling like some type of muscle building exercise. And people say high reps don't build muscle, but they they do. Like the science might say this. The science might say the science says that anything above uh, twenty plus reps is just for endurance. Well, if you take the muscle to failure or close to failure or you're approaching failure, it's gonna grow. Is going to get some type of uh, stimulus, right? And especially if you're working it, like just how I am like this, like literally for, I think, maybe two months or three, uh, a month or and a half, I did like daily calisthenics or, sorry, I still do daily calisthenics, sorry. I did daily full body. So at the end, I would either do 100 squats or 100 push-ups. I mean, sorry, 100 squats or 100 lunges. And it still did the job. It still did everything well like the body has no choice but to actually adapt um to whatever you're doing to it so especially if again like even if you do 200 plus reps if out of those times you're still like approaching failure like i i think i approached failure probably um throughout this whole thing like two three times right so that's almost like as if i just did like three sets close to failure. My legs have like no choice but to actually grow and adapt to this, to this change. They have no choice but to, it it wouldn't make sense. Like you think someone who like started day one of training would like get like maybe a couple pounds of gains in their quads and then not that's it for the rest of their training career when they're like staying, uh, keeping with like bodyweight squats. So again, like 
if you really push the muscle and challenge it, it has it has no reason not to actually grow and adapt and change, it, especially if like your recovery is on point. You know, you're sleeping well, you're eating well, you're drinking well, whatever. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.